Light is very important to me. We are light and light is us. We are born from light and we return to light. According to my uncle, I wanted to be a teacher, a mother, an artist in that order. And everybody else thought I was crazy, except my uncle who said, you had to be crazy to be an artist. I never thought myself as an artist. I never thought as myself as nothing else but just doing what I want to do because grandma just let me be. But I do embrace hard work. I do embrace discipline. I do embrace just live every day as it unfolds. And of course the light, right? When I'm painting, I'm actually dancing on my canvas. When I'm dancing, I'm painting the landscape. I'm painting where I'm standing on. So there's no difference. I don't find it different between painting and moving around and making buffoon of myself. Really? Does that answer your question? The painting, 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 I do put my energy into it and hopefully that joy that I put in or whatever I put in gives a joy to someone else or the moment of beauty. I think I'm just curious when I'm growing things, how does it grow from this little seed? So I would start drawing the seed, the process of the little root comes up. Which end does it come? It's just curiosity. And then from curiosity just gets carried away. So it's like another discipline I have every 10 minutes, every day go talk to it. How much have you grown? And of course, you know, I could see how it's grown. So I just continue, continue, continue till it blossoms. And then even their death is so beautiful. They just fade away and very gracefully hang from a branch and gradually petal falls. And then life keeps on going another cycle. Since we moved to the Silverton, I got to know the creek. So I'm totally obsessed with creeks. When you look at the water, it's just incredible. There's no stopping. Just continually flowing, flowing, flowing. It gets so loud. And you think, what are you telling me? What are you saying? And every day is a different. Every day they change. And I just got totally obsessed again with the water. I don't know if everybody has the dark places to go to, but I certainly do. I just don't want to go there because it's past. I could go back in my head and see what it was like, and I could feel it. A tear might come into my eyes, but I don't know. At my age, I just want to just keep on going and I think I will probably visit there once I'm out of this body. So as I'm leaving here, I think, well, here we go, into the light. <laughs> Thank you.
So basically, I just love everything that involves amusement. So.